Midgate just to settle in. They sent on their way. Mogo's star was flat-footed, lost about three lengths as the starter said go. Noodles the first one to react. Online is right there. Royal Rose. Miss Brody, white sleeves and cap, hunting for a good position. Princess Analia. Denims is looking to get into a nice, perfect spot. And there goes Denims to race up third. Royal Katrina to the inside. Mogo stars made two lengths after being slow out the gates. Drury Lane's on the outside, about five lengths off them. As they sort themselves into racing order, Silver Jay's on the outside, Damali and Catherine of Aragon the trailer. Royal Rose picks it up, but there goes Princess Analia to challenge her for the lead. They're going eyeball to eyeball. Denims is back third and Noodles towards the inside, Royal Katrina. Homeward bound, Royal Rose. Noodle being kept together on the inside to run a big race. Denims is coming out, Royal Katrina is going between them, and Catherine of Aragon's come from nowhere down the inside. Noodle, Catherine of Aragon, Royal Katrina, Denims and online. Noodle by a neck, Catherine of Aragon's on the inside. Noodle digs down deep, needs the line, but finds it in time. Second, Catherine of Aragon or Royal Katrina, and then came online. Third career victory for Noodle. Anton Marcus kept her together between the four and the 200 and now finds extra the daughter of Val. Well done to the Tony Riverland and Mary Liley combination, bred by Vilgebos Drift to win it. Catherine of Aragon came from the back of the field, mounted a serious challenge, looking to stay on for second with Royal Katrina. Catherine of Aragon second, Royal Katrina third, and online will run fourth. The Nimes further back in the running. Royal Rose, Miss Brody, no extra late on. Noodle, the daughter of Vark, written to respond, coming to the 300, three off the inside. Catherine of Aragon, Royal Katrina goes between runners, on lines the right hand side. Noodle being punched out over the last 100 meters and finds that little bit extra. Anton only calls for the Sabre late on, left handed, gives her a few reminders and then just continues to plug away. Catherine of Aragon, Royal Katrina and on line, back to the studio. It's nice coming to the race course if you're a trainer and have a 100% strike rate and that's what this gentleman on my right has done this evening with Noodle for uh, Mrs. Liley and you heard it from both Anton Marcus as I forwarded that info to you and Tony also alluded to it that it could be on the sharp side for her but on the strength of the opposition you'll take your chances. Yes, Deez, it's not that she, she hasn't won over 1,200. Um, and from a good draw, it's very hard to give up a, a good draw at Gravel on the poly track, you know. Um, yeah, I've, she's a difficult filly to work out. She's got plenty of ability. Mm. Um, Anton thinks she's got a problem with her vision because he says she keeps looking at things and wants to stop. But she's a beautiful filly. If you look at her in the ring, sure, I mean, sure. she's got a coat silk and she's, I think, I just love her. She's such a good looking filly, you know. Um, well, look, at least she's got her third one under her belt. She seems to be holding her form. She has a number of issues we've got to keep on top of. Obviously, I'm delighted. I'm um, well done to Mary Slack. I think Volker Bostrov bred her. And um, well done to Mary, of course. Nice to give her a double. Sure. And Anton Marcus, he's lucky for me. The strike rate's very good, Dees. Having a look at uh, these horses that you brought to the track this evening, you know, they're hard knockers. It's about picking your spots, and you've seemed to have picked the right spots for them. I can study form, Dees. Uh, uh, you know, but you've got to be lucky as well. Um, if you've you draw well, it makes a big difference. Well, you've done a sterling job with these two. 100% strike rate, Tony. Well done to your team. Thank you, Dees. And yeah, well done to my team. Well done. Tony Rivelin. Let's get Mrs. Lyle in. It's a double for her in these silks. A massive supporter of KZN Racing. Most of our horses with Tony. And uh, it's a lovely evening. What a way to kick off this long we weekend. We keep meeting like this, you know. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, Mrs. Lighty. It's a lucky spot, this number one box. It is. It is a lucky spot. You're right. <laughs> the two yes. horses won well. Yes, they did. Both beautifully. And both ridden by Anton. Uh, rode good races on both of them. And thanks to Tony again. And everything going fine. So we hope to keep up. The, the name intrigues me, Mrs. Lighty. Did, did that name catch your eye in, in the catalogue? Noodle. 
No, Tony chooses most of them. She's <laughs> no, a smashing looking I filly. I just pay. <laughs> you, you, she's a smashing looking filly. Yes, she is. She's lovely. Yes, definitely. Well, as I mentioned, a lovely way to kick off this long weekend for you. All the best with both your winners this evening, Mrs. Sliley. Thank you, Dees. <laughs> well done to Mrs. Mary Liley with number six, Noodle. And, uh, yeah, Volgabor's Drift. I see uh, a bred this uh, daughter of Va uh, out of the damn Chase Pots. Uh, we remember her. She was by Rich Man's Gold. Number six, Noodle. Beating number two, Catherine of Aragon. Eleven was Royal Katrina. Yep. And number seven, Online. A decent quartet, I'm sure, if you got a piece of the action there. Race number... Five.